No time for Vegas to rest following the frenzy of Mayweather McGregor. The Westgate Las Vegas Superbook today posted NBA season win totals, and we do have some interesting lines. First, the Warriors, 67 and a half wins. That's the second highest the book has ever posted. Last year it was 68 and a half for the same team. Keep in mind, the NBA record for wins in a single season is 73, and the West is expected to be even more loaded. By the way, if you are so sure Golden State's going to make the playoffs, you can actually bet it. Yeah, just to make the playoffs, just 1 to 1,000. That means you have to risk $1,000 to win a single dollar. In the East, Boston, not Cleveland, projected to win the most games. 56 and a half for the Celtics. First time since 2008 a LeBron-led team is not tops in the East. Cavs, 53 and a half, three full wins fewer than the Celtics. Of course, we're awaiting that Kyrie Irving trade. Another noteworthy total, Brooklyn, 28 and a half wins, tied for the second fewest. Why is that important? Well, I just mentioned it, the Kyrie Irving trade, because the Cavs own Brooklyn's unprotected first round draft pick next year. So based on Vegas, the lottery odds should be, pe should be pretty solid for Cleveland, assuming Kyrie is eventually traded to Boston and the Cavaliers get that pick. If not, the Celtics are keeping an eye on Brooklyn just like they did last year. Some other takeaways, which are the most significant changes we should expect from last season in terms of projected wins compared to this past season's actual wins, the Minnesota Timberwolves. Remember, they went out and got Jimmy Butler, no Ricky Rubio. The Sixers get Ben Simmons and Markel Fultz, 14 and a half, and then Lonzo Ball going to the Lakers. The Bulls lost everyone, as did the Hawks. No Paul George for the Pacers and no Gordon Hayward for the Utah Jazz.